Hi, I'm Fisher, I'm one of the pediatric doctors. Um, you're Barry's mum, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, um, and what would you like me to, to call you? Is Barry's mum okay, or would you like to call Jenny. Yourself? Jenny, okay, hi Jenny. Um, well, nice to meet you. Um, Jenny, Barry's been brought in today from school. Um, were you aware of, or has anyone told you why he's been brought in today? Well, I think the police came and told me that they had to get him. And okay. But no one's really told me anything. I don't know why they're here. And okay. Um, do you have any idea what what may have brought him in touch? Well, they said they had to get in touch with social services, and okay. that I had to go and pick up the other ones, and you know it's. It was just what was going on. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So what I wanted to do was just talk to you today about about why he's been brought in and and some of the um, some of the things that we're going to be doing whilst he's in hospital. Um, like what? What do you need to do to him? So um, first of all, so today when Barry was at school, uh, I don't know if the teachers or, or any of the police or social workers have had a chat with you yet, but. Um, when he was changing... Well, I'm just not sure. Why are social services here? What have they got to do with that? So, when he was at school, uh, they noticed that he had a boot on his back, um, which we considered to be a little bit unusual, so his uh, teacher asked him what the bruise was due to. Um, did you know that he had any bruising? No, but... It's because he's been with his dad, and his dad's yeah. horrible, you know. Right. So, would you like to just tell me more about what we mean by that? Well, he's always really rough with them. And he, okay. Just don't think he cares. Okay. Well, when Barry was at school, so the teacher asked him where the bruise had come from, and similar to, to the, what you're saying, Barry said that um, the bruise had come because his dad had hit him with a stick. Is this what are they going to do? Um, so, I mean... And he's just... awful to them. He just never, never leaves us alone. Okay. I understand that there's a lot of information I need to give you now, um, but if you want to stop me at any point, just, just do feel free to answer your first question as to what they're going to do. The most important thing is that we're going to make sure that Barry is well and safe. Um, so what we are trying to do is, is first of all ascertain whether there are any other problems with his health or whether he's... But he's fine usually. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, but what we'd like to... But it's going to take him home. home. I, just, I just want to get out of here. I hate, I hate social services. I hate being here. You know, why, why does he have to be here? And he's fine, okay? You need to sort his dad out. That's what you need to do. He's horrible. He hits me. He hits them. He's... Yes. Okay. You know, I mean, we need to get away from here. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, so just to answer your first question as to whether you can take him home, um, at the moment what we need to do is to make sure that he's well and that he's safe. Um, so whilst we look into things like, for example, looking into x-rays of his bones, just to make sure that all his bones are okay. But he's like running around, trials. he's fine. I mean, can't we just go? Can't you just, you know, I think until we do your investigations, get the police to sort them out? That's what he needs. Well, the police will be involved, um, and they will probably want to talk to you as well about your, about your um, about Barry's dad and about your experiences, to also to help you because obviously if he's been abusive to you as well in the past, then it would be important that all of you are safe. But at this moment in time, until we can ascertain what's best in terms of Barry's safety, and also your safety and safety of your other children, um, just make sure that you're all well cared for. We don't feel that it would be wise for Barry to go home right now. But we, I could go to my mum's, you know, she'll look after us. Like, it's much better there, they're happier there, you know, they don't want to stay here. You can hear them all, they'll, you know, they'll tear the place down if we're kept here. Why do we have to stay here? So, the reason for staying here, partly because we need to do more investigations to make sure that there aren't any other injuries that we can't see, 
For example, we need to check that there aren't any injuries to the head, that there aren't any injuries to other bones. Um, and then also because whilst we try to understand what's safest for Barry and, and for all of you, um, it will require the input of the social worker, as we mentioned before, and perhaps the police to, to figure out a plan that would be safest for all. I appreciate that obviously you and uh, you feel that the mothers would be safe, but I think it's best that we, we get a little bit more information before we make a decision as to what's the best course of action. So what do you mean investigations? What, so what have you got to do? Can you just get them done then? So we are doing um, some tests at the moment, so we will be doing um, some x-rays. We might choose to do a scan of his head to make sure there's no injuries there. Um, Isn't that really dangerous? Like I saw in the news there's loads of cancers from scans. Like so they say it's really bad. So let me just go. But he's, you can see he's got nothing wrong with his head. So what we want to just do is make sure that there's nothing uh, that's, that we can't see that's very obvious that might have been, for example, previous injuries. So that's the purpose of doing these investigations. Um, and in terms of answering your question about the dangers of scans, whilst we try to limit the number of scans we do to kids, but for the reason that we don't want to do too many because then they can be dangerous, a one-off scan um, carries very little risk uh, because it's, as I say, just a one-off and it's a very low amount of exposure. So I think in this situation, it, it shouldn't cause him any harm at all. Well, if you say so, would you? Can we just get it all done now? Just... Yeah, we'll definitely just work on it as quickly as we can because we don't want to keep people in hospital unnecessarily, but we also need to make sure that, that Barry is as safe as we can, can get him. Okay. okay. Um, I know that there's a lot of inflation and probably all coming as a bit of a shock. It's what about Sally and James? You don't need to scan them then, do you? So we will sit down, as I said before, um, we will sit down and have a chat with you and the social worker as well will be involved and we'll decide from there what we need to do further. It may be that we that we choose to examine the other children as well, just to make sure, because as you say, if your partner's been abusive to yourself to worry, it's important we make sure that everyone's as safe as we can. But they've they just never done anything good in the past, so why, why are they going to help me now? Do you, who do you mean by that? They're social workers, you know, they're just rubbish. They don't do anything for you. You know, why do you think we're in the situation we're in? It's not like they haven't supposedly helped us before. They give us nothing. So you've had experiences with social workers before? Yeah. Would you mind just telling me um, what happened with your previous experiences? Well, they didn't come when they said they would. They said they would help us find somewhere to live. Okay. And you know what to do? Get a flat that's covered in mould and isn't big enough, and children don't have anywhere to go, so they have to play in the street. And you know that's really scary. They didn't know what to do. And then he's walking around, isn't he? And then scares them when, when he's coming up the street. You know, I just don't want to be in that situation anymore. Okay. No one's helped us. And much as you seem very nice and, you know, trying to care about us, I, I just don't believe people do. Thank you. I'm very sorry that your experiences haven't been great in the past. Um, it's certainly something that I can talk to the social care team about and we can try and see if there's a way that we can improve your experiences. Um, certainly when I've dealt with the, the social workers, they, they do care and um, I, I know that it's just something that you have to take my word for, but um, hopefully if, we can, if you can meet the social workers and just see, um, you can also, if you want to voice your previous concerns so that they know how, how tough things have been for you in the past um, and then maybe go from there. But, um, just to reassure you, the social workers, they are there to try and help you as much as possible. Um, so um, sometimes, it, um, sometimes they might get a little bit busy and, and so I apologise if there have been delays in the past, but um, I hope that on this occasion it will be better for you. Okay. okay. Is there anything else that you wanted me to explain today? No. Okay. So we're just going to... 
So you're going to get social workers, mm -hmm. they can tell them how rubbish they've been, and then they might do something, and then you're going to have to speak to the police, and you're going to scan and do lots of tests, and then we might be able to go home. Okay. Um, I just reiterate that at the moment, once we do those things, I think the safest place for you to remain is in hospital whilst we go through this process. Okay. Do you I suppose there's nothing I can do with that? Well, I mean, you're doing a lot by just helping us um, and being here for Harry, for Barry, sorry. Um, so I think you're doing a lot already. Thank you very much.